Yo, welcome Fronies. To the third part of the upgrade madness, I was able to snipe a belt of bloodlust, maybe a little sneak peek on how I'm currently doing all my buying. On Questlog, you now have Auction House that is keeping track of all the items so you can see when is a good time to spot. You can see right here of those two dots, one of them that was me buying a belt of the bloodlust. So we can upgrade it together now. And if you believe it or not, I was running a green belt all the way up until now. I was not even able to drop a single blue belt. For doing this upgrade video, we actually dropped today now the belt of deafness to get a blue belt out of the lithography so I can push it into the other one. So first we have to check what trades we can get on that belt for a somewhat cheap price. And it's probably going to be weakened resistance and sleep resistance. Still 70 loose in each. That's not cheap actually okay but once we have un upgraded it it doesn't even become cheaper i don't think it's actually worth to trade that up as a blue item we are, usually you would upgrade that one to full trades to pump it in but i think we are gonna keep it clean we have to do some map here actually it's not as easy as i expected Okay, actually the purple items are so cheap to trade belts up in comparison to the blue ones it's not worth for us to fully trade that if we would have had something of course sure but sadly we are not getting anything we're just going to level it up to nine because we do have enough of the blue stones Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. So now that we have all of our pieces prepared, we can go and craft the Belt of Bloodlust. It is our best in slot item already. And oh, we even rolled it with a trade that's usable, max health, nice. Because I did stack up 200 trade conversion stones in case we're getting something crappy, but that worked perfect. And since the belt of bloodlust is an expensive item, and I don't want to spend all the lucent to unlock the trades, I will go and use trade unlock stones. I did farm 100 pieces here to be able to do that fairly cheap. And the next one is debuff duration. And for that, our item is best in slot traded. For the health one, we already have a purple belt that I dropped that we can slap on there. For the skill damage resistance, I found a really cheap trade. I think they're only like for a couple loose like 20 or 30. Um, by luck in the auction house, so we have that one ready. But that is it. So we need two times health, two times skill damage resistance, and three times debuff duration out of the auction boss. Okay, so skill damage resistance twice. Actually fairly cheap for purple trades. Then we need max health twice. Making sure that we have a belt here. Select that. One, two. And then next up is debuff duration on the belt. Here we need three pieces. One, two, and number three. Now we can actually trade it up. And now as the final action, we are going to level it. Okay. 
this time uncheck the box again and 34 that's enough for us to transfer our belt in and we got the nine okay i'm an idiot i actually forgot to put the belt in into the blue one that's on me but i think we can take that one we are having enough resources anyways and now i actually do want to fill up the um leftover trades that i have here open so debuff duration on the bracers then we're having health and debuff duration on the cloak 245 and the other one is max health on cloak 472 it is what it is no we need magic evasion for the chest Tech speed for the bow, 645. Let's check what the blue ones are going for. 100. So that's not worth it unless we're having blessing on the bow that I didn't use yet. Let's see how much it has. No, it has 42. No, it's not worth it. Okay, now all of our purples are fully traded. Yeah, guys, that's it with the video. If you still have any questions regarding the game or anything else, just drop it in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.